welcome to this week's movie vodcast. I'm Katricia Euphigenia Eloise Ma, apparently, and I'm minus one Darren Harper, but I've got the geeky t shirt, so I'm okay. But instead, we've got John Isherwood. Hello! Hi! Can I just call you Cax? It's easier. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. I feel better about that. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, are you? Yeah, good. I'm not with a geeky t shirt style. I feel bad. I feel underdressed. Well, that's okay. You didn't get the memo. It's geeky enough, it's a radio t shirt. <laughs> Is that all right? Yeah, that's all okay. right. Okay, well, fine, fine. So what, what news have you got for us today? Ah, oh, well, uh, amazing movie news uh, involving Batman vs Superman, which I know you're very bored of. I am bored of it. I'm sick of Marvel. I'm bored. bored. It's DC, though. It's not Marvel. I was Made a mistake there, didn't you? Comics. <laughs> Made a real mistake there. Uh, during uh, uh, the last episode of Gotham, going into the mid-season break, they had a 45-second teaser mm -hmm. of Ben Affleck as Batman and, of course, Henry Cavill with the chin uh, as uh, Superman. And uh, there was an unmasking and there was a really intense scene and it's all leading into the uh, full trailer, which is going to be on Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, which is lovely. really cool. So it's going to be a huge big trailer uh, and they're looking to kind of outstrip what's just happened with uh, Captain America and uh, the Civil War trailer. So this one looks pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in it. I can't wait to see it. You know, it's going to be out in March. And uh, yeah, hopefully Batflex's going to not be rubbish. Hopefully not. But yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a spoiler in the trailer, of course. You know, there's right? the unmasking of Batman by Superman. Okay. He's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> You didn't know that, did you? Who knew? Yeah, and, and also, just in case you don't know, uh, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker's dad. Well, you learn something new every day. Yeah, just dropping that in there. Jaws, oh. shark. Jaws. There you go. Well, from one superhero to another, mm -hmm. Peter Andre is going to be appearing in Ricky Gervais' new film. When did, when did Peter Andre ever get superpowers? Did he fall into a vat of chemicals or something? I don't know. Did, he, did this happen? If you check out his new Christmas single, he actually has hair that repels snow. The front cover oh, shows... Oh, right, Palace okay. Snow. Yeah, he's superhero. Fair play. Anyway, he's going to be appearing in Ricky Gervais' new film... Right. ...about David Brent. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this sounds so exciting. It's going to be pretty good. I, I like Ricky Gervais. He's very funny. Yeah. I've seen his stand-up. I saw on... Uh, oh, which one was it now? I think it was like the uh, Fame... The Fame tour that yeah. he did. He's really funny. He's a great guy. I really like Ricky. But uh, I, just, I don't want to see David Brent on film. I don't, Why not? I just don't, I just don't want to see it. Well, I know Stephen Merchant isn't going to be in it, so he's not going Done. to be writing, so it, it might be to a quote, bit poor. To quote Clueless, I'm Audi. You're Audi. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> um, so this week, I went to see The Hunger Games, finally. Oh, Wiki, I really want to see yeah. this. Um, my, my friend who's an optician, he works uh, in a huge optician, so one of the members of staff there actually believes that The Hunger Games is based on a real story. Wow. It's true, that's true. it's really true. Yeah. Um, well, Darren Harper gave it quite a poor review. Really? But I'm going to say I thought it was much better than Darren Harper said. He's a liar, though, so... Yeah, but he's not lying. <laughs> Katniss, who's the main character, played yeah. by Jennifer Lawrence, she holds the whole film together. She is brilliant. She is strong. She is emotional when she needs to be. And she can kick bum. And is Jennifer Lawrence really good in it? Because I've seen the others, but I've not seen this one yet. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence is consistently good. Um, the interesting thing about Hunger Games is that Katniss is a character that's not particularly likeable. She's not quirky. She's not. She's not funny. I like she's not her. Applause. Katniss. Yeah, she's all right. She's a face that's been chosen to represent. I might hang out with her. Rebellion. Well, this this film was very good with the tension. There was good scenes where they were running around underground, and it was quite scary. Really. Definitely not for children. Definitely not. Is it one where, is it like a 12A? I think so. It might even be a 15, I'm not really sure. I didn't get ID, so. <laughs> oh, that's alright <laughs> then. It's not 18. Bonus! <laughs> um, but I thought it was much better than Darren gave it credit for. Mm. He gave it pff, zilch stars. I think I'll give it like three, oh, three and a half. He really hated it then, I yeah. guess. You haven't been to the cinema this week, but. No, I've not this week, no. What's your TV movie of the uh, week? TV movie of the week. It's an absolute classic. It was on Comedy Central not too long ago, and I believe it's going to be on uh, Channel 5, I think. Okay. Might be wrong there. Check your local listings. Uh, it's Wayne's World. Party time. Excellent. Genius movie. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It was on just randomly when I was at home one afternoon. I just saw it on Comedy Central. I've got to watch this. Then to watch Wayne's World 2. Wayne Stock, of course, afterwards, which is brilliant. I've not seen Wayne, Wayne's World 2. Say what? No. If you build it, they will come. Isn't that Field of Dreams? Well, not anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's Wayne's World 2. It's Wayne's <laughs> Dog. Uh, it's, uh, it's really good. It's, well, I say it's really good. It's, it's a naff sequel, but it's yeah. okay. 
for this. But the, the original movie was just it was kind of defining that that Saturday Night Live sketch that got taken into the cinema. And I think like in the UK, we probably didn't really know what Saturday Night Live was at the time when Wayne's World came out. And now it's out. It's it's, it's great. I love it. It's brilliant. Great film. It's really good films this week because Django and Chains on Channel Five as well on Sunday night at like ten o'clock. Get a get a cushion though because it's a two and a half hour movie. I've not seen it. It might be too violent for me. You'll be fine with it. You'll be okay. Well, I've got a really good Christmas film. When you say really good, yeah. d define really good. Okay. Are we talking like Oscar-worthy good? Well, every week we do a thing called Merry Crapmas. Mm-hmm. So the worst film, worst Christmas films you can find. Okay. So no room for Elf. No room right. for Santa Claus in the movie. These are like and, terrible films. And the really good Christmas films like Die Hard and Batman Returns. Yeah, they're, they're off somewhere else. We've got a film called The Christmas Choir. Right. This is on True Entertainment. Oh, so it's got to be class. Yes, yeah. it's on tomorrow at 11 o'clock if you want to set your recorders or take a day off work to see this brilliant film. Or don't. Um, it's about a man who's working so hard that his relationship suffers and his girlfriend dumps him. Oh, story of my life. He finds um, a homeless lady who, who can sing and she plays the piano, so he goes to a homeless shelter and puts on a um, concert with old people. And that, that's what he does. He's basically volunteering. Yeah. Right. So it's a film about somebody volunteering. Yeah. My friend Stephanie's doing that at the soup kitchen. Nice. What, what's the good way? <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, it's going that's, to be, that's right. the whole point in so, Merry Crap. But I like things that are that bad that they're really good. Is this going to be that bad it is that good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll believe I think you. it'll be full of stereotypes, full of like great little one-liners. It's going to be great. Can you do me a note, please? Just in case. For an IOU, 90 minutes. Okay. Just because I can claim them back okay. at some point in my life. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for on the movie podcast this week. Goodbye.